by investing in Canadian scholarship at the highest level. Together we can do things like improve the health of mothers and children, identify new ways to reduce crime, or learn more about the ecosystem of our Arctic. We could foster a deeper appreciation of our history or invent the next world-changing technology. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason for such hope and ambition is right here in this room. To mention just a few examples, Carolina Alba, who some of us met this morning, came to Canada from Argentina and is researching new prognostic markers and potential therapeutic options for patients with heart failure. Also studying here at McMaster, Jonathan Lai is seeking to understand the neurological basis of mental illness and to shed light on complex disorders such as autism and Fragile X Syndrome. I'm Allison Sekuler. I'm the Associate Vice President and Dean of the School of Graduate Studies here at McMaster University. And it's my pleasure to welcome you all here to McMaster and to our reception after today's really exciting announcement. Um, so welcome to everyone. Um, we have just a, a few people who are going to say a couple of words of welcome and congratulations, um, and then we can dig in. Our first speaker is going to be McMaster's own Provost and Vice President Academic, Dr. Eileen bush -Vishnia. It is a great pleasure to welcome everybody here. This is a wonderful opportunity for you to get to know one another, for us to celebrate your accomplishments, and frankly, for us to recognize that in this room we have the future of Canada. Because this is a group of people you'll want to interact with for the rest of your professional careers. And I want to come back in 30 years when a few of you have gray hair and when I can be in the position of saying, yep, we got it right. You've won all sorts of awards and you've done amazing things. I'm especially uh, impressed with our Vanier recipients because Quite often, you know, going through my school years, one would often ascribe the, the 90 percenters as, uh, you know, nerds who all they do is study. But you know the fact is that the reason that you're so successful is that you, you live full and complete lives and you're fully engaged. And that also helps the intellectual part of your being to excel. But you, you're here as Vanier recipients because of what you've done and will be doing for your community. And that's, I guess, the most important thing from the Mayor of Hamilton's perspective, because our community has to grow and it has to attract uh, people who have passion for their own lives and for the lives of people around them. And that's what you've shown. I think the Vanier program is so wonderful because it supports researchers across all disciplines. Uh, as you know, uh, the 500 uh, Vanier scholars are divided equally, one-third in the social science and humanities, one-third in natural science and engineering, and one-third in, in the world of biomedical health. And I think uh, the genius uh, uh, of that is that we know in order to make a better world, we need to draw upon all the ways of knowing. And the magic comes in terms of our ability to bring that together, the people, the, the, the material, the technology, uh, and, and to bring that all together in a way that can really help us. And I think the Vanier program was designed in recognition that if we're going to succeed in the 21st century, we need it all and we need to integrate it in, in ways that's so, so important. And I think you hold the potential to really help us uh, move there. And I'm so proud today to be with my colleagues, Suzanne Fotsier, uh, and, and our colleagues from the Kennedy Institutes for Health Research. You know, one of the great, great part of our jobs, uh, Chad and I, is that moment in the year when we signed those letters to you, telling you that you have been awarded a Vanier and asking you to tell us if you'll accept it. <laughs> of course, we, we wish you will. And, and why it is such a pleasure is because, of course, we learn about you. We learn of what you've already done. We see what you're uh, planning to do. It's, it's fantastic. But we can also see into the future. Because, you know, my, my colleague said, Canada has made an investment in you. Yes, but it's a wise investment. It's an investment that has been made with uh, wisdom because it is a recognition. It's a recognition that you all have tremendous talent. Uh, it's a recognition that you have leadership potential. Uh, 
It's a re recognition that you're all committed to doing very hard work and you have perseverance. And so it's a very wise investment for us to make because we know you're going to be winners. And when I look at this scholarship, I think, of course, it's wonderful. Uh, and at that uh, phase of my life, I would have loved to receive such a letter as with an award of that level. But the amount of money you're getting is nothing, nothing in comparison to the lasting value of the award. Because you are receiving this recognition, because people have identified you with all of those qualities, all sorts of opportunities will be open to you. All sorts of doors will be open to you. And so you have all of that to look forward to. And we know already that you will take those opportunities. So let me end by offering just one tiny advice. I'm a mom after all, so I get to be able to offer one piece of advice. Enjoy this day. Celebrate. Celebrate this accomplishment. You know by now, I am sure you all know by now, that the world and the work of a researcher is fantastic. Uh, opportunity. It's full of reward, it's full of opportunities, but there are difficult moments. There are moments where you say, my research is going nowhere, that great hypothesis, God, the experiment doesn't agree with it. It is so frustrating, you think you want to leave research forever. And you need to use these moments that are so special when other people recognize what you have done to refuel that enthusiasm, that commitment, and that energy that you have in you. Alors, pour finir, bon appétit <laughs> et beaucoup de succès.